The difference quotient. Oh man, what's the difference? I'm talking about this guy right here. F of x plus h minus f of x all over h. First, let's take a look at where it comes from. Oh, I'm over here. So I'm arbitrary curve f. I'm looking for the slope of the secant line between two arbitrary points. The first x value I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna call it x, and then h distance away, about that far. This position is going to be x plus h. Okay, we know how to evaluate functions at each one of those. Um, If I evaluate the function at f, or at x, that's gonna be f of x, oh boy. And if I evaluate it x plus h, that's gonna be f of x plus h, okay, which gives you points or ordered pairs, your domain and your range or codomain, similarly over here. Oh boy, until you're a professional, uh, I suggest you label points, that's x1, y1, x2, y2, okay, we're looking for the slope, so I'm going to put it in my mm, slope form, yes, which is going to be, which is going to be, f of x plus h minus f of x all over x2 oh x plus h minus x1 x finish him the number that went added to the number the sum is none that's the additive inverse you're out of here okay so then this is f of x plus h minus f of x all over h, and that's the difference quotient. Okay, so the derivation of the difference quotient, that's all cute and stuff, right? But um, my problem is, I don't know how to use it. Right, and here's how we're gonna go about it. I've got the difference quotient up here for you. Yeah, very nice. Well, with this thing, what I suggest you do is get pieces. Right, until you're a professional, find the different pieces, plug them in, and then simplify that fraction. Oh boy, in a different color. Let's call this the yellow piece and that the blue piece. And I'm gonna take blue minus yellow and I'm gonna put it all over H. Here we go. I got this guy up here. Right, this is my yellow piece. I don't have to do anything to it because it's my function. Uh-huh, fun. Um, what I wanna do now, ooh, nice. Um, what I want to do now is I want to evaluate this function. Right, using my composition of functions, I'm looking for f of x plus h. Okay, so then everywhere I see an x, I'm going to put an x plus h. Go ahead, see the composition of functions maybe you on that. Yeah, squared plus 2. Oh, finish him. Do the algebra over here. It'll be nicer than putting it in over there. Mm, yeah. Is this, no, 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 right? See, uh, multiplying special products. Yes, this is x squared plus, this one times that one, double it, 2xh. I see people miss that so much. Keep on keeping on. Okay, plus h squared plus 2. Oh, now this is the piece. This is the piece. This is my blue piece. I'm going to take this blue piece and this yellow piece and I'm going to plug it into um, uh, my difference quotient f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Very nice. So I take this blue piece right here and I stick it right here because f of x plus h is that. So then I got x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 2. Oh, now I want to go and I'll subtract off this yellow piece. It's what was given to me. Okay, minus the quantity x squared plus 2. Oh, and then I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it all over h. Okay, so if you get to this point and things don't start canceling out, you did something wrong. I'm gonna take it right up here. Yes. Here I see it goes, ooh, ooh. and I'm gonna have x squared plus 2xh 
plus h squared plus 2 minus x squared minus 2 divided by h. Now here's what I'm talking about. Divide! Uh, 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 uh. Oh! After the fish to cups, after the dust settles, you have 2xh plus h squared all over h. Now can I just cancel those? No. Right. You need to factor. Factoring a polynomial is the technique of writing it as a product. Yes. Can I pull an h out of the numerator? I do. And there it is. Mm-hmm. Left on the inside, I have 2x plus h. Very nice. Divided by h. Okay. Now that I have it written as a product, I can reduce that. Here we go. Here we go. And then, and then, when it's all said and done, after we evaluate the difference quotient and reduce, we have 2x plus h. Then nice, and then, you done. And a flower. I think it needs water.